Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brad. It's a new week, and we've got new comics in our hands. In my hands is Green Lantern number two, the new take and direction for the classic character. Now, this is being uh, herald, er, handled by Grant Morrison, who's writing it. Lean Sharp is doing the art. Steve Olaf is the colors. And Tom Orzachowski is the lettering. Uh, so I reviewed the first issue, and I wasn't too keen on it. Like, I thought it was mm, Grant Morrison that I tend to dislike. A lot of referencing old stuff, uh, the weird for being the sake of weird. Um, just it was kind of disjointed and things I, I just, I, I didn't dig it. Um, there are things I did like, which was the more focus on the police aspect of Green Lantern, which was something I've always enjoyed about the series of them being galactic police force. Um, the second issue really kind of picks up on that. Uh, the the bad guys, Black Stars, are, are kind of doing more of what they're doing. Their plan is coming together. Um, we see some of that toward the end of the issue with a, a twist shock as to uh, what has happened. Uh, a classic villain is kind of brought up, and something happens to him, and Morrison continues to be weird to be weird. I don't know if uh, he's giving this direction to Liam Sharp, or Liam Sharp is just going crazy with some of the art, uh, but this is definitely playing off in that sci-fi feel, and like the first issue, I think the second definitely has a vibe that comes from 80s British sci-fi, uh, which is not too shocking, it's what Morrison often, uh, reminds me of, or has reminded me of at times, um, and that's kind of the era he came out of. So uh, that's not too surprising at all. So I'd, I'd love to know who's giving who direction as far as some of the designs of the characters. Uh, so, I, you know, the, the second issue to me is much more improved uh, than the first issue. Uh, the first issue, I kind of was like, yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm, I'm reading and where it's going. The second issue is much clearer where things are going and uh, things have picked up. And I think it's much more focused than the first issue, which is great. Uh, there's also, I think, less of a feel that I'm missing out on things and references to, like, really old stuff um, that you might not know about. It's, I think, a much more coherent story that is focused on the current story as opposed to trying to tie in tons of stuff from the past, which is, uh, I think, something that Grant Morrison tends to do at times and I dislike. Uh, as I said, the art is strange at times. Um... Let's let's go with. What can we go with? How about this? Let's go with a Green Lantern who has a volcano for a head. That's that's weird, right? That is weird for just being weird, uh, and that kind of describes a lot of what we're seeing. Uh, as going back to that like sci-fi British '80s sort of thing. I think this page kind of epitomizes that, and we can see even more strange. Green Lanterns there. Uh, I do kind of enjoy that aspect. I like to see where they're going. I always thought the Green Lanterns, uh, while interesting in the past, uh, they always kind of just felt like riffs on something like a squirrel or a bird person. You know, the idea of a uh, creature that has a volcano for a head is something very different and strange and interesting. So in that way, it's really good, and I, I do dig the art because of that. So to me, the, the second issue is much improved on, uh, than the first. And the first kind of had me interested and I was willing to check out the second issue. The second issue has me actually really interested in wanting to see where this goes, at least for the first arc, uh, especially after that ending. Uh, so uh, I'm happy with the direction at this point. This is uh, this is a much improved issue and I think a lot of my nervousness from the first issue is kind of uh, taken care of in the second. Uh, maybe this is why DC sent it to me because of that. Who knows? Who knows what they're thinking is when it comes to that. So I actually recommend this. I, I, I think the first one was, if you enjoy the first one, you'll enjoy the second one and, and generally enjoy the direction. If you like the, the concept of uh, space police procedural, go for it. I think that this is kind of good. The first one might be a little painful to read. The second one's much more straightforward, which is great. Um, and I think more new reader friendly, which is something I like to judge comics on. So you can go get this in comic shops now. Uh, obviously, go support your comic shop first and foremost. They are the backbone of the industry. Without them, things just wouldn't go well. Uh, so go support them. We got a link beneath this video. It is an affiliate. It is a link where you can put it in your zip code, and it'll tell you if the shop is near you. If there's no shops near you, uh, we've got affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage of that. Doing that, you help support our site, though. Uh, and speaking of support, I want to thank DC for hooking us up with the review copy. We always appreciate. 
appreciate that. And we always like to be transparent as to what we get for free, so you can decide how full of it I am. Uh, and beyond that, like, thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Green Lanterns, DC, comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. So until next time, in the, uh, yeah, we're not even going to recite the oath. Keep on reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.